Whether you're using tablets, granules, or liquid chlorine, you need to add chlorine to your pool about once a week. But how you add it depends on the type of chlorine you're using. So here's a quick guide on how to add chlorine to your pool. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University. And before we get into this video, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear throughout the year. Before adding anything to your pool, you need to know your current chlorine levels. Your free chlorine should be between one and three parts per million with three parts per million being ideal. These levels naturally drop as your chlorine gets used up throughout the week. They'll also drop after heavy pool use, if your cyanuric acid levels are too high or too low, or if a lot of organic contaminants or rain has gotten into your pool water. Plan to test and add chlorine once a week to your pool water to keep your levels in range. But if your chlorine levels are at zero or they rapidly drop, even after adding chlorine, you might have a larger issue. So be sure to check out our other video on how to raise free chlorine when this happens. When you're testing your chlorine levels, you'll also wanna test and adjust your pH and total alkalinity. When your pH is in range, it helps your chlorine work more effectively and total alkalinity helps your pH from fluctuating. So each week, test and balance your alkalinity, your pH, and then your chlorine in that order. Once you know your current levels, it's time to measure out your chlorine. For weekly maintenance, here's a rough estimate on how much chlorine to add to a 10,000 gallon pool. A half cup of granules, two to three chlorine pucks, or a gallon of liquid chlorine. This is enough chlorine to keep things in range each week. And it's assuming that your chlorine levels aren't constantly dropping to zero or that you don't have chronically high chlorine. If you need more help calculating exactly how much chlorine to add, be sure to check out our other video. Okay, now we're ready to add chlorine to the water. Always wear the right safety gear like gloves when handling chlorine and make sure that your pump is running to help your chlorine circulate. First, here's how to add chlorine tablets. You can use a floating dispenser or an automatic chlorinator. If you have a floating dispenser, simply add tablets to the floater, adjust your dispenser settings, and toss it back into the water while the pump is running. And keep in mind that the floaters tend to dispense chlorine unevenly, which means your levels may fluctuate. And they can get stuck in one spot of your pool, like behind ladders. And that can discolor or even damage your pool liner. That's ultimately why we recommend an automatic chlorinator or a chemical feeder. If you're using a chlorinator, turn off your system before adding tablets to the feeder. Once they've been added, close the chlorinator and turn the system back on. Adjust your chlorinator settings as needed. And keep in mind that tablets will only dissolve in your chlorinator when your pump is running. So whenever your pump is off, your tablets won't dissolve and disperse into your pool. Whether you're using a floater or an automatic feeder, don't just fill it to the top with chlorine tablets. Use the correct amount of tablets based on the amount of water you need to sanitize. And you'll want to avoid using three inch tablets in smaller pools since that can over chlorinate your water. It may take some time for your chlorine reading to change since tablets dissolve slower compared to granules or liquid chlorine. And water temperature also affects how quickly tablets dissolve. Finally, keep in mind that whenever you're adding tablets to your pool, you're also adding cyanuric acid. Cyanuric acid, or CYA, is added to trichlor chlorine tablets to protect the chlorine from breaking down under direct sunlight. But CYA can start to build up in your water with tablets, so be sure to test these levels each week. And unfortunately, chlorine tablets are acidic, and that means that your pH levels can drop when adding tablets. So if you're having trouble keeping your pH levels in range, your tablets may be the issue. Next, here's how to add chlorine granules. These are added directly to your pool water. You wanna start by measuring your chlorine granules in a measuring cup. Now, some chlorine granules work best when pre-dissolved in a bucket of water. You wanna add your granules into the bucket of pool water using a wooden stick to stir it in. Then pour this mixture around the perimeter of your pool, starting in the deep end while the pump is running. Pre-mixing granules helps it from settling on the bottom of your pool, but you want to always follow the manufacturer's directions. If you add granules directly to the water and notice it's settling on the bottom of your pool, just use a pool brush to help it dissolve. And never add granules to an automatic chlorine feeder. It just dissolves way too fast. Since granules are quick dissolving, you should notice a faster change in your chlorine levels compared to tablets. Granules also contain cyanuric acid to help protect your chlorine from the sun's UV rays. But it's not as big of an issue compared to tablets. Still, it's worth testing your CYA each week. Because granules are quicker to dissolve and contain less chlorine than tablets, you may need to add chlorine more frequently. 
And finally, here's how to add liquid chlorine. Make sure you're using pool grade liquid chlorine, which contains about 10 to 12% chlorine by volume. Household bleach, on the other hand, only has about half that concentration. To add it to your pool, pour it slowly into the pool water while the pump is running. Pouring it slowly in front of your return jet while the water is moving will help it disperse into the water. Otherwise, just walk around the perimeter of your pool, pouring slowly and starting at the deep end. Liquid chlorine is unstabilized, meaning it doesn't contain cyanuric acid. That means you'll need to add chlorine stabilizer to protect the chlorine from breaking down in the sun. Otherwise, your chlorine will break down faster and you'll have to add it several times a week. One final note of caution. Here's why you should avoid adding chlorine tablets to your skimmer. It used to be a popular option to add chlorine tablets directly to your skimmer. Fortunately, this can cause more damage than it's worth. If you have tablets in your skimmer and there's no water flowing when the pumps shut off, the water will sit stagnant and create an acidic pool of water. And this can cause stains on your pool wall and erode your skimmer walls and basket. So if you need more help with pool care, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.